Welcome to the uh, the Metcon comparison tool um, or metabolic conditioning. And what this tool is, it came from a desire to try and better understand the impact, um, the training effect um, of of CrossFit workouts, um, and and the popularity of, of such types of workouts has increased massively um, in the however many last few years. So what I've done is is this is actually taken from the first steps identified. Um, in this research paper um, and how to look at quantifying CrossFit and some potential solutions. Um, now, there's a couple of different methods put forward um, within this paper, but the first one that we're going to focus on is trying to get an understand of the impact of a Metcon via the density of reps or the uh, the total reps per minute or second, so the rate at which you are performing um, performing your repetitions. So what we've got here is you can have two different workouts. You just need to list the exercises um, down here um, on the left, the reps and the weight. So if you were to have um, an AMRAP, that's nice and simple, exercises, the reps each round and the weight. If you want a chipper, so that's one round for time, you can list all of your exercises out here. So if they're decreasing reps, I might have the same exercises but they're going down to 15 of each. Um, and then we might have the same again. Let's just put these in, but they're going down to 10 reps of each. Okay, so I've got all my numbers here. The chip, I don't need a number of rounds, so that can go. And then I've got the time taken and the effort taken down here as well. And what you'll see is if I change this from an AMRAP or from a chipper to an AMRAP, these change to rounds and reps. So it could be that in a 10 minute window of just these three exercises, I can it six rounds and 21 reps and RP of seven. Now what this can tell me is I did six rounds. I completed 381 reps. I did 60 reps per round, as you can see by here. Okay, but as I went over those six rounds as extra reps, I actually completed a total of 38.1 reps per minute, or that's 0.61 reps per second. We've also got the estimated volume load, and this does take into account those leftover reps, um, and also the length of workout in time. Now, if I change this to rounds for time or chip, you see it's just minutes and seconds taken to completion, and the calculation is exactly the same. So what you could do is you could complete two different um, workouts and have a look at them. So here I might say I've got this this 20, 20, 20, and I'm going to do five rounds of time. And that took me 10 minutes or nine minutes and 58 seconds. Or we could look at doing the exact same workout, but as a 10 minute AMRAP. And this time I completed 12 rounds, uh, sorry, seven rounds and four reps within that amount of time. So I can now take a look at whether I completed more work, what the impact of that work was as an AMRAP or as rounds for time. And you can see here that there are some differences in the numbers. So I was actually moving at 42.4 reps per minute in the second workout, whereas I was moving at 3.1 in the first one. And what we've also got down at the bottom is we've got these charts so we can start to look at each chart is looking at both workouts but we can have a look around at what we're what we're measuring so i could do reps per minute versus uh estimated volume load in terms of kilos i can see that i've done more reps per minute and my volume load i can see my sets times reps times load was greater in that second workout so now i could have an estimated guess or an educated guess to say the impact of that second workout was much more than the first, okay? I could also look at the length of the workout against the RPE, okay? So I can actually see, even though they're very similar in time, I actually had a lower rate of perceived exertion. So we can start to get a better understanding of what is actually happening within those CrossFit workouts. Now, it's not perfect, it never will be, um, but hopefully it can just, just give you a bit more understanding and chance to either compare performance of the same workout across different dates or to actually be able to look at how you can progress workouts and whether or not it had the desired stimulus. Um, so 
have a look download the link that we link underneath this uh this video have a look have a play um, and if you have any questions feel free to pop them in the comments also i will put a link to the quantifying crossfit um, research paper if you fancy a little bit of a read on that